here in Glendale, Arizona, as the boys get ready to take the ice to do battle, and you get a chance to meet the dads who shaped these boys into the men they are today. Bill McClellan here with us on Shark Bite, uh, head, head coach of the head coach, if you if you want to speak. <laughs> Tell me about your thoughts about Todd. You know, you've seen Todd coach at different levels uh, growing up. Tell me about your thoughts when he got his first head coach job in the NHL. Well, it was, uh, it was really a surprise at that particular time, but I was uh, extremely happy, happy for him, and I know what he went through to get there, and uh, it, was, it was a thrill. The meeting at Kmart was uh, the, changed everything. He took me to Kmart once and just basically said, do you want to be a hockey player? And if you do, you need to shut this, open these, and just trust me. He said, trust me, and it'll work. Yeah. I started coaching him when he was five and coached him off and on until he was about 12 and 13, and then he got too good for me to coach him. Well, it's not the easiest thing for a, you know, to be a goalie's father, because I don't care. When the, when the goal goes in, that's it. That's his fault. The bottom line, it's a goal. I really enjoy meeting the other fathers and where they come from. You just don't know where they're going to come from. They're all over the states and Canada and out west. And, you know, just all over. It's just fun, that's all. He has uh, struck everybody with his, with his straight ahead, no nonsense, business approach to everything, being very honest, being very upfront with people. Where does that come from? His mother. <laughs> yeah, his mother. Definitely his mother. She's the backbone of the family. <laughs> Very proud of him. Many hours of going to the rink, getting him dressed, tying his skates. My fingers would bleed. We'd be out in the cold. You know, it's great to be here. I'm discouraging my son, who's five years old, to be a goalie. I don't want to go through the same torment that my parents went through. So, it's not, it's not easy. yeah. I can understand. It's probably a lot tougher on the parents than it is the player itself. You know, you get over it as a player. You grow thick skin. So, did you know he had the ability to be an NHL? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just his skating, and uh, he just read everything so well. And that's something you really can't teach, really, a lot of times. But just read all the plays all the time. And Big influence, obviously. Uh, a lot of time uh, spent driving to different rinks and putting the time in to to make it special to come back here. It's a great experience for him. You know, yeah. uh, see what I do for a couple of days. It's nice. Uh, you know, he played uh, good quality hockey, so it's nice for him to, uh, you know, to have a couple of days in my life, so it's, it's great to have him here. When he was five years old. Yeah? Yeah. Was that, what was it? I think my first game, I let him make 11 goals, I think, oh, in half yes. a game. Do you remember that one? <laughs> yes, I, I remember. Do. <laughs> well, I coached him a lot. Oh, okay. So we coached right through minor hockey, so he heard me a lot. <laughs> but, uh, no, we were pretty pretty good. We, we talked a lot and about the game most of the time. And, uh, Oh, a little pointers here and there. Robert was always, uh, as a child, he was quick, you know, quick to react, and I think that helped a whole lot through the whole process. So just the, the ability to react quickly to the situation that was there. Going down a little bit now. Yeah, I know. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> it used to be quick. He was always asking about practices. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? And I think he, that was followed right up to this level. And uh, he, 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 was, he always thought the game, um, you know, behind the game, the, the strategies right. and that, he, that was his forte. Of course there's always a doubt and we only played because it's a great game to play. I didn't push him into anything and everybody asked me, well how do you do it, how do you do it? I didn't do it, it just happened. It's going to happen. If you push a kid at five to make the pro, he's not going to make it. Where's the personality come from? Uh, <laughs> he's probably like me, but only uh, he's a little more vocal. <laughs> <laughs> Relaxing and being with them eh? in, a, in an atmosphere that you don't usually have, I think has been the, the best part. And kind of knowing what they have to live through. Eh? Uh, we, we, we kind of learn what they do. We know our own circuit, but then we find their circuit. The proudest moment is just uh, his ability to get to the to get to junior, because like he was so. He was so small, I you know, and, but he worked so hard, and then he finally, and his dream came through just to get there, and then from there getting drafted in the NHL, and of course, you know, playing his first game in the NHL was big. My dad was always uh, there to bring me to practice and games. He didn't, he didn't miss, I don't know, he didn't miss very many I, that I can remember, and uh, he just was really supportive uh, through my whole, my whole youth, and uh, I think that's what helped me to, you know, to keep plugging away and keep enjoying the game and, and reach a high level.
How about that? Mark Edward Vlasic and Mr. Vlasic, are they dead ringers or what? And I like Mr. Boucher admitting that he gets nervous watching his son play. You know what? I imagine dads of hockey goalies, they've got it rough.